Welcome to this DaVinci Resolve Fusion Node Breakdown. Today's node is the Mosaic Blur Node. And this is another DaVinci Resolve effect available within Fusion. So we're going to jump into Fusion. We've got some media and I'm going to hit shift space and add a Mosaic Blur. And if we look at our Mosaic Blur, you can see what it's doing. So what the Mosaic Blur does is it uh, pixelates the image behind it, it doesn't actually add blur, it just adds pixelation. So up top, we have our pixel frequency, so we can change the frequency of our pixels or make them larger or smaller. Under cell shape, we can uh, change from square to hexagon to triangle. Our aliasing uh, slider right here will uh, let us adjust how tightly each cell is sampling the area underneath it. Under our advanced controls, we can offset on the X, so the left and the right. We can offset on the Y, which is up and down. Additionally, we can change the aspect ratio of our pixelation. If we check this anti-aliasing result, it's attempting to uh, add like additional processing for cleaner lines underneath. For whole cells only, we're only gonna see this if I move this. What this is doing is only gonna apply entire cells if they're fitting on the window. So let me go ahead and add a transform and I'm gonna move our footage over and uh, change the size of our cells so you can see what's happening. Right here, where our uh, cells are leaving our window, if we check this, it's going to uh, apply whole cells only and the rest will be kind of blurred out. So that is off, that is on. And the mosaic blur can be used for either uh, for looks, if this is the look you want, or people often use it for uh, things like blurring out faces. So if you tracked her face and added, say, an ellipse. You can place the blur over our subject and her face would be blurred out. So that is the mosaic blur. I will see you in the next no breakdown.